Oh, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. And today, I just want to quickly just talk about uh, a cool little PvP zone. So, this is kind of a fun little thing for you to do for other servers if you guys are interested in some of this. If you're at the end of the season and there's not really much going on and everyone kind of has deals on what's going on and there's not a lot of battling or anything going on at that point, or maybe you just can't, you can always work out a, a fun battlefield for a deal. So what we've done in the Dead Marshes, a couple of our factions here, we have a lot of factions actually that joined in on this, um, we're basically just having a PvP zone. So, a uh, dual zone, so we can practice builds. So we've made a rule where you can't destroy forts, and we kind of just made this weird looking square, what we're trying to make a square it looks like, right here. And basically, uh, we're just gonna battle, battle armies, try builds, have fun, make friends. It's kind of a fun little uh, thing to do. So anyway, for other servers that might want to do this, I'm sure there's already servers that have already done this, but um, you should try it. It's pretty fun. We're really enjoying it. Oh, and by the way, uh, I know I've mentioned it in a couple other videos, but remember that hammer I've been wanting to get a hammer for to refine? Well, I got a hammer in a really awesome Mathem coin pool. You really should check out the Mathem coin video. It'll probably be temporarily here on the side or something afterwards. But, um, yeah, let's refine this. I got a hammer, so here we go. Yeah! Refine! It's trying. It's trying to refine it. There it goes. All right. Yes, 9% damage dealt for all dwarven units. Heck yeah. Now, it, by the way, my hammer is now on Balin, who is basically my dwarven buffer. And I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So if you look here, uh, his hammer now gives as follows. Defense to his army, plus 9% damage to all his dwarves, right? And then gives him some might. And then he also gets him and all his allies to take 50% less focus damage from this. Right? And then gives him some buffs. I don't really have a good helmet for him right now. But his army gets some melee speed. And then, of course, his dwarves get more speed from the pipe. And focus helps him because of his ability gets focus added. He's one of the only dwarves that really uses focus. Most dwarves are just flat out might builds. But um, if you jump into Dwalin stuff here. And you go to revitalize. Uh, this is one thing that's pretty cool, buffing his army, but right, this is an enemy, uh, this one right here. Inspiration. First three rounds, all LA units damage dealt increased by 23%, affected by focus stat. That's the one. So it buffs his army even more. And then, of course, Lord of Moria, leader, bonus, open wound. Um, open wound is good. I, since I'm focusing on a leader build, I'll probably respec and put it into Warrior of the Lonely Mountain. Some more points into that. It'd be nice to get this at 15, but I don't know what I would sacrifice here. I could sacrifice um, maybe the Frightened buff, but this is pretty darn good to have maxed out. So, again, I focus him really as not a damager himself, as an army buffer. But I'm going to be trying some more and more builds in the PvE zone. I have, um, I might do a video on Imrahil with Jethros. But I have been having a very hard time on figuring out what a good build is for him. So, for example, I just... its I'll tell you why, okay? So you can leave a comment if you think you have an idea on this. Um, you give me some pointers, maybe. Uh, I've been trying to figure out... I don't have the best gear for him. This is okay. I wanted to buff his... Give him speed. Give him some might. Give his armory... His army gets attack, which is good. And he buffs his horses, which are humans, because you really need to use human cavalry to really u utilize his kit. But um, and then I give him a generic, you know, speed defenses, and then he's got a really nice horseman's helm, right? Fully maxed out army defense, m and mounted units take less damage. He gets more speed, that kind of stuff, because he has uh, some modifiers. I don't have a great gold item for him. I do have a knight star, which gives first three rounds all allies gain pursuit. And a 5% chance of causing maximum damage. Um, also gives some speed to men. Again, he focuses on men cavalry, so that's good. But, um, yeah, the thing that's really weirding me out with him is the fact... Let me get out of the way. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Moving the whole screen on you. Um, the alliance buff. So, what? What? one of the builds we I've been trying is, you know, straight up horse, right? 
full Prince of Delamroth, get that extra health for what you're using. I'm not Gondor, so I can't use the Fantastic Swan Knights, but I've been using Cataphracts and Knights, and, you know, and um, also Rohan, the Rohan main unit and stuff, that kind of thing. Um, so, but you can really just put one point into this, and you get your Stun and Madness immunity, no matter what right you just wouldn't have as high defense but then also i've been using where you get the mounted combat damage and coalition this is probably the best build i've tried um damage from men uh stacking the defenses a little bit of speed for him i'm gonna respec again I'm i was practicing and trying things this reinforcement might be better if i max it out i wasn't so what i did was i actually tried to take all the points out of these side ones and put them all into ally and try to max that out and get that plus one hp to ally and the heal his healing is not super great, even with more groups of units. I even used three groups of human horse units, and his healing was still under 5,000. I was kind of like, eh. So, anyway, that's what I've been trying to figure out with him, with Imrahil. But otherwise, me and Jethro, and Jethro's been trying to figure out with me too. We've been trying to figure out a good build. But when we do a little more, we'll do a video on, on Imrahil for you guys. All right, anyway, um... Yeah, so anyway, I just thought that was cool. Wanted to talk about that a little bit for fun. Just some random talk stuff. And talk about this duel area. It's kind of fun. We're having fun. The King's Cup. <laughs> Pokey Center. <laughs> I love it. That's great. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Delta's a good, that's a good one, Delta. All right. Um. Yeah. So, voice of the rings. <laughs> I just, that fits. So people know who I am. Whenever I put Zolan or Iron Shields, people are probably like, who's that? It's like, I'm Zolan Iron Shield, obviously. So, that's our PvP section over here. I'm over here in Darwinian. Asking everyone, please don't kick me out because uh, it'll probably pop me somewhere way back here. And then I'll have a ridiculous time to run back to the duel area. The hardest thing that ever we have to think about, too, if you're doing this on another server, is... You tried whoever's participating in the duel section, right? If you're doing it in the Dead Marshes like we did, since it's like a neutral zone... Um, make sure you let the people have at least sort of a close area to it, right? In this case, we already had a deal on what lands everyone's going to get because of things that we worked out. But, um, and granted, we're still in a decent distance. But granted, let's say, you know, you push someone all the way back. You know, let's say, uh, let's say you were on another server and Lindy doesn't have a lot of players and Lindy's back here. You're like, oh yeah, we're having a duel over here. And they have to do reinforcements for four hours or something to get there. It probably wouldn't be the ideal situation, but, you know, you guys work it out. Remember, everyone is having fun playing this game, and it is a giant risk board, and everyone should just be happy. You guys like my little spot with my double little FSGs there? <laughs> they're like, they're beautiful. This is my gardens outside of my base. <laughs> they're just there to look pretty. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's been a... Yeah, so we're doing some duels. And also, Gothmog is crazy. You looked at Gothmog, guys, for dueling or defensing. Uh, by the way, there's Gimli's full-out powerful new axe, which you've probably already seen the video that I put out about getting it. But I need to start upgrading it more. Can I strengthen it more yet? See, I'm thinking I might use my axe of Kazadoom. I don't want to use my axe of Kazadoom, but I might. Axe of Kazadoom has a ton of might, but... Oh. My Gimli is so powerful, and he's got this awesome axe now. The thing is, I had to trade. I gave the hammer to um, to Balin, but if you notice, the might's almost the same, but not quite, right? And the, his Gimli's dwarves obviously have less defense, so I've kind of turned him into more of a glass cannon. But I'm hoping that these will make up for losing this on my units. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then have more might too. But of course, granted, I'm getting plus one attack to my units. So that one attack, when this is upgraded to maybe two attack, might balance out to the 9% damage from dwarves. I don't know. I'm, I haven't done the math. I looked at the math on that, but we will see. But, um, yeah. You know what? <sighs> and now I kind of want to use an Eldor sword on my Gandalf because I just, uh,. I pulled the Gandalf letter if you saw my Mathem coin thing, which is super exciting. So now my Gandalf is his freaking uh, Respect 5. He has White Council and everything. So, not sure. 
I haven't been using Gandalf this season, but I don't know why I want to get rid of that Noldor sword. It's so hard to decide. But you know what I would give as a recommendation, guys, at the, for the end of this video? Is I would recommend it is better to really focus on only like three or four heroes with with gold items because you really unless you're spending thousands of dollars in the game which is kind of unrealistic you're not gonna have full maxed gold items on five characters you're really gonna have one or two that have gold items so or unique items in that case right like this Gimli item so since Gimli has his unique item I'm gonna go ahead and use the gold ones to upgrade it so um, the question is do I keep this for Legolas or do I keep this for Gandalf? Gandalf's rank 5, Legolas is like rank 3, I think. Um, normal attacks have a chance. See, since I use dwarf units a lot, kind of think I might keep Legolas with the item. And they also nerfed Gandalf, so this isn't, isn't quite as good now. Uh, I think I'm going to keep Legolas, because here's how you think about it too, guys. So you go into your respect, right? I did pull the Gandalf letter, right? But Gandalf's a good character even without that gold item. Granted, he'll be better, but Legolas, I have respect six on Legolas. He's the same as Gandalf, and I even pull. I don't know if... I did pull his letter a while back, and I'll probably end up using him with dwarves, because he's crazy, especially with that gold item, so... Because that extra damage on top of his extra damage... So, I've decided. I'm going to... Sorry, Gandalf. I'm going to have to take away your sword. And as you can see, I do have this hat for Gandalf. I will be keeping that on Gandalf. Because it's amazing. Look at that. Granted, it's... it's The reason this is zero is because it has... No, he hasn't done anything. But next season, he'll be using this hat. And I don't know if he'll be using that. We'll see. But as much as these are all great items, they're level 1. You don't always want to just keep random gold tier 1 items that aren't reforged or anything on someone. Guys, it's not always a good idea. But for fun, we will upgrade this Dwarven Axe for you guys. Alright, so again, it is going to go... It's going to still be one attack, but it's going to go up to 35 might. Which is quite a bit different. So here we go! Forge! Ballin's axe. Being Gimli's axe, but that's what it's actually called. This is a cool axe. I have this replica, by the way. It's from the it's kind of based off the movie. It's slightly different in the game. But wow, the next upgrade. 44 might plus two attack to dwarves. Whew, that's gonna be good. What's the refine upgrade do? Increases your two stats up to four percent. So you get a double of eight percent damage on Gimli instead of four percent, which is good. But again, need ton of impure mithril i'm not getting that anytime soon because i'm not going to spend lots of money but anyway now gimli's even stronger ha <laughs> 410 might gimli my friends 410 that's a scary gimli right there even uh dane's getting there he's got pretty good gear too but i think gimli wins on the, the super might being 410 that's pretty crazy which will also increase things, considering the fact that now he's got a 4% increase stacking from his axe with a pursuit buff. Yeah, Gimli's going to have some fun in the PvP zone. Ho ho ho! It'll be so fun! Alright, my friends, well you guys have a wonderful day in Middle-earth. Thank you for joining me for this fun little random chat episode about duels and a little info about heroes. So you guys have a wonderful day in Middle-earth, and I'll see you in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. Later.